Hello everyone! Welcome back to our virtual classroom. Today, we're going to discuss a proof of discussion on practical research. And I'm hoping that you're comfortable while you're listening and watching. At the end of this lesson for today, you are expected to master our learning objectives. And here is the most essential competencies that you need to master. Writes a research title. But first, let's take a look at this picture. Pinagtagpo, ngunit hindi itinadhana. A case study about couples who had long-term relationship but did not marry each other. This is a title of a case study of this group of broadcast communication students from the school in PUP. Naging viral ito online because many netizens gave their various comments and reactions on this. Pero may tanong ako, ganyan ba dapat talaga ang research title? May hugot? So paano ba talaga magumpisa? Una, dapat merong kang research topic. Ngayon, paano ka ba magkakaroon ng research topic? You can think of a broader topic. For example, education, politics, science, sports, culture, at iba pa. Then, choose the one that interests you. In my case, I select education. Then, from this, narrow this down. Okay, for example, education. I will break this down into subtopics. So the subtopics that I may have are the following. Students, teachers, printed modular distance learning, self-learning modules or SLMs, academic performance. Afterwards, I will read different articles like write-ups, previous studies related to my subtopics para magkaroon ako ng background information of my topics. So, okay, let's say I read articles about printed modular distance learning and I read informations about self-learning modules. Ito yung ginagamit ng mga students ngayon. And then, I look some articles as to what factors affecting their learning styles. Then, from my readings, I came across with academic performance. Hence, these are now the important words that I have from my initial readings and initial research that I made. So, we have self-learning modules, senior high school students, and academic performance. Therefore, it will be this way. Self-learning modules, or SLMs, its effect on the academic performance of senior high school students. O diba? Or, pwede rin COVID-19 pandemic, the impact on the study habits of senior high school students in this new normal. So, ayan, may title na ako. Isa pang paraan is to look around. Observe and look for a problem. For example, in this time of pandemic, what we observe is hindi pa allowed ang face-to-face -face classes, di ba? So, nasa bahay kayo. Lagi mong hawak ang cellphone mo. Ang tanong, kamusta naman ang modules mo? Problema ito, di ba? Na dapat bigyan ng solusyon. So, you may come up with a research study from this problem. So, ito yung pwedeng maging research title dyan. For example, the effect of mobile phone in the study habits of students in this new normal. Pwede ka rin mag-divert ng ibang title katulad ng The Importance of Digital Online in the Academic Performance of the Senior High School Students Amidst COVID-19. Ayan! Meron pang isang paraan. Another way 
is by reading published articles, previously conducted research study, and look for blank spot and blind spot. Ano ba itong blank spot and blind spot? Kapag may topic na hindi pa nakocover o hindi pa nagagawa ng research study, blank spot yon. Kapag may gap naman sa research, blind spot yon. Halimbawa, sabi ni researcher 1, ay ganito. Samantala, sabi naman ni researcher 2, ay ganon. Hindi sila nagtutukma, di ba? May gap. It is now your turn to fill in the gap through your own study. Kung baga, ikaw ang magpupuno o ikaw ang magpuprove kung alin ba talaga. So, kung nakakita ka ng blank spot or blind spot, pwede mo pagsimulan niya ng research topic mo. From there, you can have your research title. Just remember this characteristic in writing research title. Always summarize your idea, kailangan maikli lang, and include your major variables. And also, you dapat yung length ng title mo, it only between 12 to 15 words lang. So, ayan! Meron ka ng guidelines. O, paano ka magkakaroon ng research topic na magagamit niyo naman in writing your research title? Palagay ko ma-approve lang yung research title kapag kinonsider mo yung mga guidelines na diniscuss ko. As I promise, I will provide you a written assessment which serve you as your guide or reference in this upcoming research title that you will do. And thank you for listening. And happy writing! Bye-bye!